Oh boy, people, it's time for the Karate Kid. As you can see, it's made by LJN, a division of complain of complain. Yeah, I like to complain about Acclaim right now, who made really crappy games. Uh, like Friday the 13th, um, the Incredible Crash Dummies, and pretty much any movie game that was released that in the late 80s, early 90s. So, let's get started. This is the Karate Tournament off of the first Karate Kid movie. And basic strategy for this level is just kick the guy. Just hold right and just blast him with kicks. Wait, am I fighting Red Man, the famous rapper? Oh well. So here you are already in the semi-finals. If I remember correctly, you fought another Cobra Kai guy. Supposed to be wearing black. But does it really matter? And here you go, against the lead Cobra Kai guy, and I think I'll finish him off like how they did in the movie with a crane kick. Short, succinct, and we're in stage two. This is uh, where Karate Kid 2 takes off, because now you're in Okinawa, and you face off against a whole bunch of uh, nameless goons. So, do what you do, kick him, and jump indoors for bonus stages. This one's the ice block break. Get your uh, life bar to full and have your arms in the middle for your best shot. I broke four blocks, so I get 2,000 points, one extra crane kick, and two drum punches. That is another crane kick right there. And you'll see when you keep on kicking people and defeating goons, you'll see a little C that pops up. Pick those up for more crane kicks, and plus you get a little bit of life back. Crane kicks are usually good for uh, boss battles and when you're having to deal with two people at the same time. And if you're going to see it, and in this playthrough, I go through a lot of bonus stages, so don't worry about it. Uh, about Karate Kid 2, and well, here's a trick for Karate Kid 2. You get two guys behind you, keep them close to you so they're not close so they're in the same screen as you but not as close as they are to hit you you'll have no other enemies come toward you and it's a good way to sort of cheat your way to get to the boss of the level and yes these enemies will jump their way so here we are first boss battle and I haven't watched the movie so I don't know who that guy is so I'll just take him out for drum punch Okay, so stage three. Here you're facing off against more goons, flying sticks, and birds that come out and try to mess you up. Uh, the birds and the sticks will do no damage, but they will knock you back, which could be really annoying because they can knock you into the water down below. Wait a minute. This is a uh, Karate Kid. Then why am I rescuing Chim Ch Chim Chim from uh, Speed Racer? Anyways, just keep on kicking goons and kicking goons, punching goons. I uh, kick the birds for points. Wait a minute. I just killed a bird with a crane kick. Which is amazing. I hate this bonus stage, by the way, the swinging hammer. You have to have pinpoint accuracy and timing to beat this one. What you do in that bonus stage... Well, it's so nice, we're going to do it twice. What you do in this bonus stage is when it first comes down, hit A, and then back in A, forward in A, back in A, forward in A, back in A, and maybe you can get some points or something. The most I could get is four or five. In this playthrough, I got three, but in previous uh, times of playing this game, trying to beat it without getting a game over, or trying to beat it in all one, one go, I can only get three, but four and five is what I got prior. But the chopsticks fly catch is pretty much it's, could be annoying, but if you once you figure out the flies fly in a circular pattern, uh, it gets easy.
And here I get perfect, so I get 5,000 points, three crane kicks, and four drum punches. And so now I continue on with this and give another crane kick to another bird. I, I'll just say it right now. The game sucks. It's short. The controls are ass. And they ripped off the dog... And it sort sounds like they ripped off the dog laugh from Duck Hunt when they made the, uh... Lose a life sound. And, by the way, also about this game... Did he just throw a cabbage at me? He threw a cabbage at me! What type of bad guy throws a cabbage at you? And as you see, I failed that bonus game miserably. So let's see if I can... Oh. I'll just die again instead of uh, getting to the end of the level. So let's try this again as I get hit in the head with a stick. But like I said, you can get hit by those all day long and you won't lose any health. I don't know what's more annoying, the birds or the sticks. But I think what I'll do is I'll do this chopsticks fly catch bonus game, get the 5,000 points to get myself an extra life. Yeah, for every 20,000 points you get an extra life. So I'm going to try to use the same trick as I did before get two guys to follow me until a certain point where I don't need them anymore. Here's fine. Once again, if you need to build health, just stay in that little area and just uh, kick those guys for uh, crank kicks and health. By the way, I will say this about the game, the music's actually pretty good, but that's about it. Aside from the music, aside from the music, this game, this is one of those games where why does it exist uh, springs to mind. I mean, a couple months in the coding room would do it, just go up there and save the girl and beat that level. <laughs> 